Hello everyone and welcome to the PE presentation for the Key Stage 4 Options evening. I'm Paul Davis and this is Eddie Brown and we're going to take you through the two options that you have next year at your, in year 10. Before we start doing that, let me just reassure everybody though that everybody, regardless of what you do here, everybody still does core PE. You're still going to be doing the practical elements of PE that you've been doing in year 7, 8 and 9 and that just follows through into year 10. What we're doing here is on top of that. Okay, so just making sure that's really clear. Okay, up to Mrs. Brown. So as you can see, the two courses are laid out here. You can see both of them are five lessons a fortnight, so no difference there, and both of us who work on GCSE. They're just taught in slightly different ways and you get assessed in slightly different ways. The first thing you might notice is this one is 75% internally assessed tasks. So very coursework based. There's a 25% online exam and that is for the unit Fitness for Sport and Exercise. The other three units here um, will all be assessed through tasks like these and they all have a practical element to them. So the practical sports performance, you're assessed in two sports, um, an individual sport and a team sport, and that can be any sport of your choice, performed in school or outside of school. It's not necessarily you don't necessarily have to be really, really good at that sport. You get a pass, merit or distinction for demonstrating consistently well um, the different skills, techniques and tactics in those sports. Um, and then you'll have an internally assessed element to go with that. Leading sports activities, you'll learn about how to be a leader, you'll do a task on leadership skills, and then you'll have to lead um, a group of students, again in a sport of your choice that you're confident with, um, and then you'll review your leadership skills. The third one then is training for personal fitness. Again, you learn how to be a, a trainer, how to be a, a PT instructor, using some of these internally assessed tasks, and then you'll produce a six-week training program. And then you perform your six-week training program, and then you'll review of the results of it. Um, did you improve an area of your body? Okay, did you improve an area of your fitness? Um, so if you're somebody who does like doing lots of practical in your PE lessons, but not necessarily lots of practical sport as you know it, um, and you're not somebody who is particularly good at exams, then maybe this is the course for you. Okay, and then over to our AQA PE course, which is, as Mrs. Brown has said, it's the same number of lessons of fortnight, it's five lessons of fortnight, and for both of them, the weighting is probably similar about how many theory we do to practical. There's more theory, so we don't want you coming to these courses thinking that it's just more and more practical on top of what your core PE lessons will be. There's more theory in both courses, but it's also some practical too. For, for this course, it's 40% of the overall course is assessed practically. Now for that, we assess you in three different activities. We'll assess you in as many as we can, but you take forward your best three activities. Now one of them's got to be a team sport, one can be an individual sport, and then any other one after that. Okay, and we can advise you on, on a list that you can take and select those activities from. You also do a small written piece of coursework within that 40%, where you're analysing your own performance in your best activity or your strongest activity. The rest of the course is, is assessed in two exams at the end of year 11. So this is an exam-based course. So these two, the 60% theory is split between the two components. Component one, very much science-based. So if you've got a good background in biology in particular, then a lot of this will relate to that and you'll be able to transfer skills across from the biology course. The second part of the course is more the social cultural influences. What's happening in society that's influencing sport, that's affecting sport? So we're talking about psychology, so what's going on in the mind, drugs, sponsorship, media, we're talking about the Olympic Games and global sporting events and things like that. But the important thing is, as Mrs Brown said, this is, this is assessed in an exam, two exams at the end of year 11. So if you, if you say, I'm good at exams, I can cope well with exams, I can work my way towards them and revise well, then maybe this is the better course for you. But the flip side of that is that you have to be playing practical sport. For this one, this is about how good you are in these sports. It's not just about playing them and adapting to them, it's about how good you are. So we do say for these, you need to be playing sport. Hopefully we'll all be playing sport again soon. But if 
Um, you know, we'll update you if the pandemic continues to disrupt all the practical support. But at the moment, this is the course where you need to be practically active inside school and outside of school. Okay, so the way this will work then, when you get your options booklet, if you think you're, you're interested in one of these courses, then just tick that and put that. And then following up for that, we will come and speak to you and advise you which one we think you'd be more suited to and give you that extra guidance. Otherwise, if you've got any other questions, then our email address is on the bottom of the sheet and they're also in your prospectus. Okay, thanks for listening. Have a good evening.